As the epic heads up match between Daniel Negreanu and Doug Pohl continues, we take a stroll down memory lane to 2011 where Daniel Negreanu met one of the most toughest opponents in online poker, none other than Victor Blom aka Isildur 1. In 2011, Isildur 1 issued an open challenge to pros via PokerStars Superstar Showdown. The challenge's considerably lower stakes and smaller session size made it a popular endeavor than Tom Dwan's Full Tilt Poker $1 million Dirt Challenge. Daniel Negreanu had expressed a wish to play with Isildur 1 since the signing of the latter Poker Superstar Showdown contract for PokerStars. The true identity of Isildur 1 was not revealed to the public in 2010. Only after December 2010, when he signed off a contract exclusively with PokerStars, did the company finally lift the veil and announced that Isildur 1 was the young Swedish poker wonder kid Victor Blom, who was 20 years old back then. If you are unfamiliar with this event, it involves Blom challenging a different player every so often to 2500 hands of 5100 no limit hold'em and the player multi-table 4 tables. The one other rule in this challenge is that both players have a $150,000 bankroll and the game ends once one player loses their $150,000 or the 2500 hands end. Before that, Isildur 1 had played 5 such dual challenges, having won 4 times against Tony G, Daniel Cates, Eugene Kachilov and Attila Gulsik and only lost once against Ike Haxton in his first game. As the battle was scheduled beforehand, many fans watched the game online, live on PokerStars. Everybody expected a tough competition. The action started with Negrano and Blom taking a seat at four different No Limit Hold'em tables with a $10,000 stack at each. Blom was quick to assert his dominance, taking the first decent pot of $20,000. Nagrano went into the hand with a king-queen offsuit and paired on the flop, but lost the hand when Blom nicked his third six on the river. A hand like that could go either way, so at that point, Nagrano probably wasn't sweating it. But as the night wore on, it looked like the then lifetime earnings leader was not only outskilled, but also outlucked, as Isildur 1 continued to outdraw him one hand after another. Daniel Legrano was down nearly $50,000 well before hitting the quarter completed mark and Isildur 1's lead never once faltered. By the halfway mark, Blom had doubled his lead to over $100,000 and Negrano pulled out of the action at two of the four tables. Victor Blom well on his way to his huge win, the chat box included this exchange on the relative luck factor. As many poker fans predicted, Daniel Negrano did not even make it to the full 2500 hands. Though he had brought more than the required ammunition to the battle, it was clear to everyone that even with 1000 hands left in the challenge, Negrano wouldn't be making a comeback. Ever being the humble guy, he bowed out of his round of his superstar showdown as soon he had lost his full 150,000 buy-in in, in 1,439 hands. As Negrano so hastily pointed out, Blom ran a lot better than him in all-in hands but for the most part, Blom's overly aggressive style and Negrano's lack of multi-tabling experience did him in. This raised Victor Blom's credentials to 4-1 at the Superstar Showdown. His victory was so big and crucial that some people already doubted that Negrano would not come back for his rematch that was scheduled for March 27th. Later that night though, Kid Poker once again showed that he has got class and balls when he tweeted that he would come back for the rematch. Daniel Legrano later confessed that he smashed everything in his room. After the loss he claimed he had been practicing non-stop after a shocking defeat. But Negrano also had admitted that Isildur 1 is the better online player. But he also claimed that the Swede got inside his head in the first clash and promised that won't ever happen again. Negrano wrote in his full contact blog, It's been about 24 hours and I've definitely had time to reflect on the match and also put plenty of work since then. The reason he won, aside from the lucky all-ins and coolers, was that he figured me out pretty quickly and developed a counter strategy that left him protected for the most part. By the time I was prepared to make some adjustments, the match was already over. Despite his overwhelming superstar showdown victory over one of poker's most distinguished players, Isildur 1 just couldn't keep the momentum when he returned to the regular heads up ring during the week. In just one night, Victor Blum lost more than $400,000 in a shockingly bad 4,000 plus hand session. Meanwhile, Negrano was training hard for the rematch. While Negrano failed to post any sessions that were as good as Isildur 1's was bad, it was nevertheless clear to PokerStars spectators that the Canadian pro was finally making ground. On March 27, 2011, both players took their seat at the four 
pre-designated 5100 Nolimatoldum tables. The action got off to a slow start, but before long it seemed clear that Isildur 1 still had the upper hand. Nagrana was once again down well over $100,000 and a table when they reached the halfway mark of the challenge. At one point, Kid Poker was as much as $130,000 in the hole. It looked like he might have to bow out early again, but then something unexpected happened. He started to win. Watching Daniel Negreanu's eventual victory over Isildur 1 in the second match was a lot like watching a baby learn how to walk. When he won one hand, the general consensus was good for him. At that point, most of the pros fanbase just wanted him to finish with some dignity. But then he won another hand and another. After two key hands cut Negreanu's loss in half, a different kind of energy started to build among the spectators. With only a few hundred hands left in the match, Negreanu did the unthinkable. He pulled ahead of Isildur 1. The tension was palpable and the chatter was light, if not entirely non-existent. The lead waffled a little, but ultimately Negrano managed to stay on top, not only completing the requisite 2500 hands this time around, but completing that with a respectable win of $26,500. As you might have guessed, Negrano was ecstatic about his victory over one of the best young cash players in the game today. Negrano had nice things to say about Isildur 1, describing him as incredible and the best, explaining what surprised me more in the first match was that he was way more solid and he had had it way more often than people would expect. Isildur is incredible. I hope to do a training session with him one day. He's the best. That was what Daniel Negrano said later on, making sure to give Victor Blom his fair share of credit for the match. Pokestrauss can say that the session finished with a record of 1-1 and Isildur 1 can claim otherwise. He can however go out and buy a luxury car with the true result of this showdown. To do the math for you, Isildur 1 was $123,000 richer between the two sessions and to many people, Isildur 1 was the clear winner of the two matches. However, credit should be given to Daniel Negrano where it's due. Very few people thought he could win either of these meetings, and he played far better than anyone anticipated in the second session. Perhaps the Negrano Isildur 1 match did not quite live up to the hype as expected, but Negrano proved to the world that he can spar with anyone in the poker world. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description. And if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.